How has COVID-19 impacted our work and our decision-making as investors? Well, first question first, how has it impacted our work? Uh, I think mostly for the positive. I spent quite a bit of time traveling to Berlin, to Cologne, to New York, to Miami, to San Francisco, to all these different places where we have portfolio companies just to sit down for a day or two or sometimes even just for a board meeting. And I am really looking forward to a future where we connect through video and do all of those important meetings through video only. It's also a much better experience doing it through video now than it has ever been before, since now everyone is on Zoom or Hangout. And so it's much, much easier to feel and connect everyone. Whereas before, if just a few people were on video and a few people were in a room, it was always some sort of a mixed experience. Also connecting with co-investors, that's probably the second most important group that we often talk to besides founders and potential founders, has gotten a lot easier. Before it was often etiquette to go out for lunch or dinner together to talk about deal flow and recent developments. And now that can be done in a half hour or 45 minute Zoom session, which is a lot more efficient and just better for both parties time. And second part, how has COVID-19 impacted our decision-making as investors? Well, not so much, but in a few points. Number one, we probably ask a few more questions about uh, your runway and how you could potentially slow your spending so that you could expand, extend your runway. In general, we think that if you're raising now, you should raise for at least 18 months, meaning end of 2021, or ideally two years, meaning spring 2022, because my hope is that by then the fundraising environment will have somewhat stabilized and normalized. The second question that I often ask is, how can you profit from COVID-19 and this changed world? And there's two things that I want to get from this. Number one is, is it actually something in the business model that if slightly tweaked can profit from the current crisis? And number two, and that's the more important part, is how conscious is this entrepreneur, this founder of his timing, how conscious is he of what's going on in the world and just in general, how well is he or she able to take a step back and kind of assume a bird's eye view on the world um, of which his business is only a small part, but and figure out how these larger dynamics interact with his business and what he's working on right now. So to summarize, how has COVID-19 impacted the way we do our work? Well, not so much, if anything, I think for the positive in that we have to travel a lot less and we can still meet and, and have important meetings online. And second, how has it impacted our decision making? There's a few more questions that we like to ask and get a good idea of how the founder thinks about how this larger dynamic of COVID-19 is impacting their business. But other than that, we are very excited about investing in early stage technology companies right now. And with that, stay curious, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, if you like this video and you would like to do me a huge favor, then please smash that like button and subscribe. That's great for the YouTube algorithm and more people will see it. It will also make sure you will get to see all the upcoming videos on essentialism and entrepreneurship. And if there's a question or topic you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments.